especially for all of you who took time out of your day to come to this. Um, I have a PhD in clinical psychology, and the first 20 years of my life, that's what I did with my career. I was a university professor and a psychotherapist, and my expertise was in the area of domestic violence and child sexual abuse. And I spent uh, those years working both in this country, and I also worked in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. When I came back to this country, I did spend more time working as a psychotherapist, but then I went back to school, and I took courses in accounting, finances, and grant writing, and that enabled me to move into working in nonprofits. And so I became the founding director of a nonprofit in Wool, Massachusetts, and I worked there for a period of about nine years. And during that time, I was able to increase our staff from myself to 13 other, to a total of 13. And I was able to increase our budget from our very small initial grant of 50K to about a half million dollars, which was an increase of about 800%. One of the notable programs that we did at that nonprofit, it was very different from a shelter. Um, it was all, um, everybody, no, we didn't have a place where people came. We did our work in the community. So we created a program for truancy prevention because we had a very um, bad dropout rate at our school. And so over the course of five years when I directed that program, we were able to help seven, approximately 720 highly um, truant students to increase their attendance on average by 65%. It was a, uh, just a great program. I learned an awful lot about the lives of young people and the reasons why they may not be in school. Um, the other thing I just want to highlight from that organization and my experience working there, we did a very large men's soccer tournament, took place over three days, and we were able to raise between 50 and 70,000 a year in revenue through sponsorships. We collected fees from the players. We collected fees from the people who came to watch. And we also had created like a, a carnival-like situation so that we were able to have different food vendors and other vendors who came in and we collected fees from them as well. And so I wouldn't be suggesting that a, a fundraiser like that would be an appropriate thing for the shelter because every community is unique. And you know we, uh, that would be something that you would want to look at is what is right for this community and what's right for the shelter. 